Hi guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-apologize for the lawnmower outside. I don't really know why people cut the grass when you just make a little pathway for yourself and your vehicle and fill it up with flowers. Um, anyway, let's do a little haul, bro. So, I have a commission. Um, they want like, you've probably already heard this, but like two 12 by 12 canvases. They want like a, a space galaxy, whatever kind of design. Uh, they're an Aries. So I'm going to add in um, the constellation that goes along with that, along with, you know, the planet that goes with that as well. I also have a galaxy that I'm going to add, like a specific galaxy uh, that goes with it. But I have a few things that I got from, um, where did I get these from? Walmart? Yeah, Walmart. Um, I hate lawnmowers, but I have to do this video now. But literally, it's not going to happen. Anyway, let's start off strong with a very, very important product here. Mod Podge Matte Clear Acrylic Sealer. I chose Matt. Ooh. Ooh. It smells like banana Laffy Taffy. What's that say about Laffy Taffy? Um, anyway, sealant is really important, especially when you're sending it off to clients. Um, it's gotta be nice, right? I also picked up a few paint colors, some just basic ass acrylic colors. Admiral Blue. You can't really go wrong with Apple Barrel. It is also matte. And that's not going to zoom in. I also got Blue Kazoo. Again, matte. And Concord Grey. Again, matte. Okay. I also picked up this five, uh, 5194 Black Flash gloss metallic acrylic paint so you you can't see it too well but it's got super fine super tiny sparkles I figured do the dark background right and then do this this will be those distant stars that you can't really make out but it's like there's millions in the sky you know what I mean um, other than that I picked this up for my partner. He, I got me some gel pens. I'll show you in a minute. But he wanted some gel pens because he was like, "Do they have any other ones?" And so these gel pen, uh, these gel pens come in. It says two. Oh, someone's pulling up. Uh, two black, two blue, and two red pens. Very basic. You can see the colors down here. But um, he just wanted some pens, so I got him some. I picked up some white jelly roll. Uh, it says jelly roll, the original gel ink, classic bright white. Um, yeah. I got two packs of these because I really want to make this, you know, love a lawnmower. But I really want to make this, um, Mission real pretty. It comes in different sizes, five, eight, and ten. I assume that's you know the tip. You know. Anyway, that's that. I also got me the appropriate sized crochet hook for what I'm working on. Also, I didn't consider that it was Pride Month because I was just not sure. Like, I don't listen. Once you're out of school gives a fuck about dates, right? I I found it was found out it was like June on like the third. Okay. Um, anyway, but before uh, June happened, let me show you what I'm making. Let me grab it. Hold on. All right. I found this epic like. Look at these colors. You know what I mean? But I I don't have the right crochet hook. I've been using that. But it's been kind of coming out pretty, pretty. I mean, you can't pick up. Here, 
let me show you this side. Because it's it 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 it's like a ombre and it changes color as you go. Just look at all those little details. And all I did was do some basic shit. So that's really nice. I'll probably finish with that a lot sooner now. What what size is it? This is a five millimeter ergonomic aluminum crochet hook. Just has one of the handles on it, and it's metal, and it's five millimeters. I didn't know um, what this yarn needed. I just started, and I was like, big dum dum pants. But I saw the same one in Walmart. And if you here's a tip, um, I'm not great at crocheting. But if you want to find the appropriate hook size, it says it on the little paper that's wrapped around the yarn. It said five millimeters, so I got one right. Um, last few things I'll show you is literally just to appease my inner goblin, because I love, love shiny things. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I'm not in an earring making mood. I'm thinking I'll just take these and put it on my beaded curtain in my art room. Someone else is pulling up. Isn't it nice living next to the highway? No. Um, first of all, these like iridescent glass shiny things. Feet. Um, mm, I could just stare at them for hours. Some little skulls. Right. These. Look at what they do. Look at that. Just look at them shine. I don't need diamonds. I need glass. Just shiny things. God. I gotta stop. Or I won't. Um, I have two more. these. Um, I wish my camera picked it up. Because it looks good on camera, but it like... I love shiny things. Um, and I got the same style of beads. It was cut the same, uh, but purple. Again, just shiny things. God, aren't they just glorious? Like, this is the vibe? I don't know. It's so hard for me to make jewelry because I'm like, why not just... <sighs> anyway. Oh, but look at this one. I could eat them. No. Glass doesn't do well in the tummy. Oh, but God. I'm sorry. Basically, if you want to get me something or anything, if it's shiny, I, I, I don't have a preference on colors, okay? No preference. It doesn't matter what color it is. If it's shiny, I go stupid, okay? Um, that's all. I have to actually be a big girl. And start experimenting and get my commission underway. Uh, really, the deposit isn't going to like, like actually transfer to me until the 17th. It's like the 10th, okay? And the scary thing is about commissions, the client can completely drop out of it at any point in time. So, if you want more like reliability on the client not doing that, um, ask for like a 50, 40, I, I would say like about 50% um, deposit. This one happened to be uh, $60, you know. The canvas was $5, you know. The paint overall, $20, you know, $25 at this point. And then Say I spend five solid hours, like solid hours on it, that's like $50. So we're, we're like $75. Um, and then the packaging is going to be like $15 to $20, so that's like, what, $90? Bucks? 
And then for my actual branding, I mean, what car is that? You are not from my neighborhood. I live on the side of the highway and we it's a circle, so when people take the wrong turn, all the time they'll just, you know, go around the circle, so it's like, who the fuck are you? Um, anyway, it's time to experiment, and I really want to do this well, and I am a little dumbfounded, because this is like the first commission that where I'm actually making money. Um, my in-laws have two Rick and Morty paintings that are massive and took weeks to make. Uh, they're both valued over $1,500 and I got paid nothing. I was a stupid person a couple years ago. Don't do that shit. Never again am I making any kind of art for them. A lot of money is owed to me. Anyway, that's a different story that pisses me off intensely because it's just like people don't take my job seriously or people don't take artists seriously except people who create things like keep the world running. Um, anyway, I can't go on that tangent. I love you guys and check out my nails. That's all you need to see. I'm very sweaty, so I need to go so I can turn my fan and AC back on because it's moist, humid, hot. I shoot. It's like 90 degrees every day and I live in a tin box. That's not, I swear to God, it's not insulated. Winter time was rough. A lot of baking of cookies so that the oven's on and it's hot and hot. We're not hot, like warm in the house. But anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you in, I don't know, whenever the next one comes out. But I love you. Be safe. Drink water. Go check out my other content on all my other platforms. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, my podcast, either on Anchor or on Spotify at the Unrecorded Studios. Um, you can look into the other shit if you're interested. I'm not going to peer pressure you. It's no point. Uh, anyway, bye. Thank you for listening to my rant and looking at my shiny things with me because I'm going to keep looking at them after I turn off the camera. So bye!